Commander, the Soviet spearhead is almost upon us. We must quickly set up our new headquarters in Bad Orb. A command vehicle needs to establish contact with the town. You must protect it at all costs. You can only deploy ground and air reinforcements once in control of Bad Orb. Bundeswehr reserves are on their way to support us. You must delay the enemy offensive until they arrive. The enemy will engage you as soon as you deploy your forces. Expect heavy enemy armor, mechanized infantry, and helicopter support. Organize your defense as best you can, and most importantly, hold Bad Orb. Good luck, Commander. Hey guys, still here, and welcome to this first operation from Wardo. This is one of the four that you can currently do, and I haven't played it yet, so I'm eager to. Let's see what we can find in this particular one. It is a bit like a mini campaign, and that means we're going to getting a couple of preset battle groups. They are set in tank platoons, in uh, recon platoons, but you don't have to work like that. If I'm going to just get one Humvee, I can just pick one Humvee. I don't have to follow the whole platoon route. Now, we're going to have access to a couple of tanks. We got some command tanks and some M1A1 Abrams, a couple of recon Bradleys, ITV, so it's an HGM carrier, um, really low amount of infantry. I got four Humvees filled with engineers with dragons, so HGMs. I got a couple of Humvees with scouts, grenade launchers, and stingers, and that's basically the extent of my infantry, just six units. I'll be getting reinforcements from the VKK-431, but I can only get those once I actually have access to this CV zone, Charlie. So in order to get there, I'm going to have to protect this CV. This is whatever is left of the 111th ACR, which is the Armored Cavalry Regiment. Uh, the 8th Guard has pushed them back into the Kinzig Valley, and that's where we are right now. So the objective is to delay, and I read to reach 2800 command points, or conquest points. Protect the CV at all cost. Um, looking at the map, and my ability to use both tanks as well as air support, that is, once we have that CV again over there, I'm going to be requiring my infantry to get side shots. The engineers with their 14 AP on the ground-to-ground uh, ground missiles, or the dragons, they're not really going to do that much to a T-80, I think. So, um, what do we have for the enemy to advance quickly? They got this road, they got this road. Uh, this one doesn't really strike me as very interesting because it stops right there. So, the AI, I suspect, is going to follow this, this, and this, meaning... I can sort of defend this across the open field, get a couple of shots in with the Abrams, and then pull back. But I only have 650 points. I'm getting 120 points per tick, so that's per minute. And uh, that's not going to get me very far. So I suspect we're going to have to use like one, maybe two tanks and a recon unit. But I'm going to form like a mini squad of a bit of everything. So it's going to be the command Abrams. It's going to be... Um, a Bradley, a Recon Bradley at that. And it's going to be a Pivads. And that's pretty much all the points gone. I got 195 left, that's not enough to buy a tank. I can get a CV and start ticking. But I'm not sure if that's the best use of my resources right now. Because I got so much terrain to defend and just three units to do it with. So, based on this, I think I'd rather have like another Bradley over here. Because these guys with their 25 AP do a lot of damage. Let's just exhaust this tank platoon already. Uh, I got 75 points left. I can get a stinger for that. Yeah, that's basically me done. So let's end the deployment phase. Let's make sure that CV gets going. I can't control it, but they can. They being the AI in this case. So, well, make haste and get the fuck out. Because uh, right now, this is the only CV that I have that I cannot control. I can only protect it. I don't have a lot of intel. I don't have a lot of visual. Pretty tricky here with the hum with uh, the Bradley, really. The Pivads and the Bradley are getting veterancy from the command Abrams. And there's the first BMP. That didn't take them long at all. I'm getting something that resembles a side shot here. I just need to hold off on firing missiles. Because this can easily get side shot. That thing cannot. Looks like an MI-8 to me. Boom. That's the next guy down. Yeah, it's a rocket pod MI-8. Okay. So they did capture the zone. That's very nice. I got 8 out of 2,800 command points. 
We're almost there. <laughs> it's just going to go fairly quickly. Um, this flank. Can I defend it with one Bradley? I'm guessing not. Now, there's no command zone here. But I'm using right. this particular area so I can always fall back. I cannot fall forward. I mean, advancing from here into an enemy position is going to be more challenging. Order, I don't like seeing that T-80 over there one bit. I don't like the range that we're shooting at. Okay, there goes the pivots. Take this guy down. Quick. Boom. There goes the recon. Ooh, you are going to have to fall back there, my friend. Got him. T-80 destroyed. There's a Bryusa there. Pop out and take it down. Let's get some kills while we can. Get the Bradley over there. Get the tank over here. How are we doing with the CV? That's almost there. It's almost there. Now, seeing as in Warno, you don't actually have to keep a command unit in a particular sector. This means the CV will just hold control over this, even if I don't have a CV in there. So that is really quite comfortable for me to hold. I'm thinking another tank potentially here. Unfortunately, I cannot buy anything yet because I don't got that reinforcement zone. I cannot exactly push back into them. I mean, I can, but it doesn't really yield me any results. Because I cannot capture any of their sectors. So in that sense, I might, but it doesn't really get me a whole lot. I'd rather cover more of the terrain here and there, especially for a helicopter that could break through. So making sure that no helicopters break through and then getting some air defenses up, or sorry, uh, tank defenses over there. And with just the points that I have, I can now buy one tank. The Germans are not here yet, the uh, Thunderbolts are. And that's going to be very useful. The real question is how much NTR do they have, and I don't know about that. So that's a bit concerning. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm going to be facing. I don't exactly know how much firepower they're going to be throwing back at the A-10s. Let's get another mini group here. Yeah, my 24V is just hovering here. It's currently way out of range. I wonder. They can't see any of my units. Drop off the stinger. All right, ladies, it's time to move. We do have the command zones. I'm getting a decent tick in right now. What you got? What you got? Another helo. Looking for enemy play. Are we going to be looking at a recon helo? No, it's an MI. Uh, yeah, it's another MI8 with uh, rocket pods. Go on. That's yeah, more like it. Go on. Okay. Now, the M24V is armed with air to ground rocket pods, no ATGM, so in that sense, somewhat safe to engage. Uh, let's get some um, recon boys over here as well. Let's provide some cover. It's not stellar, this position. I need the Bradley to get to a better position. Maybe here? But then I can't do much against there. Hello. Can I help you? Right Reach the ground. Oh, BRM. Recon. Now I'm going to try to play a little zoomed in. Oh, that's not good. Reverse. Reverse. Get out. This is a story you will tell your grandchildren. Yeah, maybe. You're going to live long enough to have grandchildren. That is, my friend. You better speed up. Get that NTR gun. That rocket pod doesn't bother me. Come on. Stop. <laughs> Almost. Jesus, you're out of ammo? Really? That's, uh... Pretty concerning. Considering how quickly that thing ran out of ammo. Okay, you're gonna move here, you're gonna move there. The scouts are motorized and should be here fairly swiftly. Let's put them in that building. So far, I'm not terribly scared of what the AI is doing. Ah, the reserve is going to be here in five minutes. Good. I have already 900 out of 2800 conquest points. This seems to be fairly easy. Where is the rest of the engagement? Give me another tank. So far, the M1s have served me very, very well. Well, M1, singular. Served me very, very well. So I'm hoping that with more tanks, I can get more damage in. As for putting dragons in this building, that could work. Because it's fairly concealed behind the building over there. 
And with it, I might be able to get side shots. Hello. Yes, Ooh, that that's not good. Yeah, I don't really care about the BRM there. I mean, it's a valuable target, sure. But that T-80 concerns me. Well, I guess it concerns this them too, they're leaving. Boom. Hit. That's the BRM dead. The MI-24V should take a ton of my damage here. And myself are ready, sir. Question is, how long are you going to keep this up? You won't, but you're here and you got full ammo. The enemy is got him. Get back. Order, sir. Get these guys a resupplier as well. Let's get a double squad of engineers in there. I need to start bolstering this position. Ready, so let's get that Abrams rerouted over there. Ensuring that I have the firepower that I need. I want you to go here and then there. If I pass them like here and there's an HGM yes, sitting somewhere in the back, I'm going to be dead. Very dead, very quick. This machine gun Humvee can still come in useful. Hello. Another T-80. Oh, the Bradley's engaging it. Is that missile gonna actually connect? Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful Bradley. Well done, dude. That was a fantastic side shot with the tow too. Okay, we're on 1400 points so far. Waiting for instructions. So far, I'm not terribly impressed with the performance of the AI. Tank ready. Wee and missed. Well, I'm glad you're missing now. You didn't miss that tank when we were shooting at it. How's the supply here? Oh, you're done. Wow. So resupply is fairly limited here. Yes, Captain. Get the kill shot. Okay, stop throwing toes at it. What the Abrams orders, will take sir? it out. Easy. One shot, Successful one kill. Gone. Pivads, Order get in there. This Pivads has more or less a full complement of ammo. Yes, that's the interior. That worked out what I want. Easy. Looking for enemy planes. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, we're going to sit here and here. So you're going to take this building, you're going to take that building. You're going to go back into cover. The pivots can now pull back. I got 285 points, let's get another tank in. If I can kill that T-80 UK that's coming up here, that'd be great. Where's the rest of the AI forces? I mean, if this is it, I'm a little disappointed. What's your range? 1575 meters, that's perfect. Like, we're approaching 2000 command or conquest points. Where is the rest? I'm playing this on medium. Surely there's gotta be more. Yeah, there is more. Ah, the Germans are here. Okay, let's see if these side shots are gonna do anything useful. Yes, they are. That almost wrecked that tank. Let's go and get the BRM. And we're going to need to bring both of the MTR systems forward again. Taking this guy out. Because this is really bad news. Take him. Thank you. Why are you falling back, dude? I mean, it's not that bad. Okay, what can we call in from the Germans? A bunch of infantry. This guy has been routed already. The Stinger has that well much done, range? Guys. Wow. Pleasantly yes, surprised. Very good. Pull back. Resupply. Um, if we're going to be getting this much in points, I would like another tank. We're going to potentially do a counterattack here. Let's also get another command tank in. And I can start pushing with I this tank. Um, and the other two tanks that are coming in. So Waiting these boys, we're going to link up Boy there. Driver. We're going to start pushing back. I want you to engage this Bryusa. Making sure it cannot order. do any damage against any airplanes that I might call in later. Again, I don't know the status of their end here. And I'm not that eager to find out. Uh, short range encounter here. Let's get the best anti-tank weapon we have. Look at the Panzerfaust at 14. Not stellar. Oh, we got the Colonel Gustav, but this is Command Infantry. There is another T-80. Yes, we side shot this guy. 
Come on. Come on, Abrams. Before it retreats behind the buildings, get the... No, didn't get the shot. Reverse, but keep facing the enemy. Be careful. Enemies nearby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. There. Get him. He's Boom. Right dead. Beautiful. <clears throat> Target down. 2,600 points. There's another rocket MI-8 coming in. Pivots forward. Other pivots forward. There's another BRM. Was another BRM. Jeez, these Abrams are so crazy accurate. 65%? They take absolutely no shit. 2700 conquest points, almost. These pivots, though. Warno is such a beautiful game if you zoom in. And the problem lies therein. Because once you zoom in, you lose the ability to really get a good grasp of what's going on in the battlefield. I don't want to have to zoom in that much. Enemy spotted. Hello. Success, sir. Can I help you? Attack has petered out. We held the line. Saber six. We held the. This was their attack. What? This was it? <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on. I didn't lose a single unit. I killed thirty-one hundred and fifty-five points. Oh God. Now, this was on two stars out of three. So, yeah, you can crank up the difficulty, but come on. Is this it? Is this it? This is disappointing. They had this whole lead-up. They had this, like, cinematic intro, and then this? What the hell? This is Black Horse's last stand. I mean... You get this whole story, then you got the briefing, you got the map, and then you get the, what, 12 minutes of battle? That is disappointing. That's disappointing. I haven't tried the other ones yet. Maybe they're a little longer. I mean, this does say short duration, but I thought, okay, maybe it's like one of three missions or something. I don't know. This is a bit disappointing. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Have you tried any of the other missions? Um, if so, yes. Which should I try next? Because this? <laughs> Come on, Warno, you can do better. You can do better. I know you can, especially if you create such a story. It shouldn't be that hard to also take the next step and make the battle more interesting. Anyway, that's it for today. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for more videos.